Hey everyone, it's Mike with Presentation Plus Ups, and today we've got big news. I just had an update last night in my PowerPoint, and Bill Gates gave us a fantastic gift. It's called the power of locking your assets. I'm gonna show you how it works. Let's get started. Welcome to Presentation Plus Ups. Okay, now this is actually a key that opens beer cans. So this is not what we're going to use, but what I'm going to do is show you a great new feature that I've been begging for for years and years in PowerPoint. It's finally here. I'm telling you what, if you are a slide designer, this is like Christmas. Okay, so here's the situation. I'm gonna take some slides that have a lot of complex things going on, a lot of images, a lot of assets, and we're just gonna see how this works. So the first thing I want you to do and what I want you to do is go to the home screen and go to the arrange panel. And down on the arrange panel, there's a feature called the selection pane. Now, if you followed me on presentation plus ups, you'll know that I am a major advocate of the selection pane. So what I want you to do if you haven't already is right click it and add it to your quick access toolbar. You're going to notice that I already have it up here on my quick access toolbar. So I just have it up there right on the top left of my screen and here you have all your images everything that's going on on your slide whether it's on screen or off screen is here in this panel here's the big news is you now wait for it can lock your assets right you can get the key and lock it just like you could in photoshop or InDesign or adobe illustrator you now have that ability so you're going to notice i have several things that are actually transparent right now, so we're not gonna worry about that. But let's just take something like this word, this big background picture, okay? As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna rename that background picture. I'm a terrible typer. Okay, so you can just notice which one it is. I'm gonna lock that feature. Now, when I want to go and get into some of these assets and move them around, I'm not gonna co-mingle and move that picture. That's a godsend, because if you want to make more complex animations, like here's a one-two step, you're gonna notice that the images, everything changes, and you want this to go into presentation mode, which I'll do right now, and you wanna have some sophisticated things happen where things that are maybe hidden on screen, maybe they're transparent, are now coming up on screen and doing things. You've got that ability with that lock feature. That's just it. I feel like Paul Revere letting you know that the feature's here, the lock feature. Hopefully you will enjoy that as much as I know I will over the coming years as you make sophisticated presentations. So that's your tip. Thanks so much for tuning in and please make it a great week.